Well, what I like to do is draw contact points. So when we take a look at an ISO, let's just go ahead and kind of put us a guide up here. So I know if I look at a cube, just a basic three by three cube here. This view is going to be my front. And that makes this the top. And that makes this the right side. So we know we're going to follow something like that. So if I look at my front view here, there's a couple ways to turn that. I know that, let me scoot this down just some. I've got one, two, three, four, five, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's take a look at how to do that. I'm gonna start by just plotting some points. I'm gonna say, you know, there's one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then I know we had seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somewhere in there. I know that it comes over to, right? If I look at the front view, one, two. So that's going to look like this. And I know that we go down. One, two, three. So this looks kind of like that. And then I know that I'm going to connect those. Sometimes what helps me is to go ahead and draw a few of these in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, you are all connected. All my vertical lines. And then I'll connect these. I'm going to turn the paper just a little bit so I can see it better. And then I'll go ahead and connect these. So let me turn that back. So there's that front part. And I'm going to utilize the top part as well. I need to know how, what, what's happening up here. What's happening up here. So I know that we go over one. So right here. There's something happening. Okay. And then it's going to go down. For this one it's going to go right here right because there's a little cutout up here if we take a look right there there's a cutout and that looks like it goes over three and it looks like we come over one and remember there's a back side to this and we'll go like that so I'm going to start connecting some things. I'll go ahead and connect these. And remember this one's going to go down one. I'm going to go ahead and connect these. And I would actually see this line here, so I need to draw that in. Remember, looking at our at our right side view, right here is our right side view. So we go one, two, three. So I'm going to come down right here. I know there's a connection. We actually see this line, so I'll go ahead and pin or draw that one in. And I will go ahead and connect this. Now, I'm still looking at our right side. I know that our right side, I go one, two. So I'll come over here. I know that I skip this, right? There's a, there's a void here. So then we have another two. And there's something like this, right? 
So I'll go ahead and start connecting some stuff up here. And I want to figure out just how big this, this gap is here. I can do that because that's on the top side, right? So here's my top view. Scoot that down some. You got one, two, three. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm just going to do something like this, right? I'm going to go ahead and connect some things here. So I'll say you. And you are connected. And you know what? While I'm here, I'll go ahead and get that line. Now, just kind of some fine tuning here. I know that I will see that line from an ISO. And I'm also going to see this line. So in the end, I come up with the same result. Something that always helped me is this, this cube right here. Just something really basic, a basic understanding of, of how the ISO is going to look. So I know everything I see here is going to correspond to my front view that I have in my multi-view. Everything on this side is going to correspond to what my right side looks like. And then, of course, the top. Is going to look like right here on a multi-view.